In the philosophy of science, under the correspondence principle, a limiting case theory is an earlier theory which becomes incorporated into a later, usually broader theory, that is to say, the earlier limiting case theory proves to be a special or limited case of the later theory. Technically, a theory is said to be a limiting case of another, later theory when and if the later theory subsumes the theoretical relations and apparent reference of the earlier one. For example, physicists agree that classical mechanics constitutes a low energy limiting case of relativity theory. In words of Larry Loudon, realist philosophers use this phrase in the sense that the theory T1 can be a limiting case of the theory T2 only if a all the variables observable and theoretical assigned a value in T1 are assigned a value by T2 and b the values assigned to every variable of T1 are the same as or very close to the values T2 assigns to the corresponding variable when certain initial and boundary conditions consistent with t2 are specified the idea that a theory in our previous example newtonian mechanics that is close to being true ie that is verisimil converges as a limiting case into a superior theory in this example relativistic mechanics can be an argument for scientific realism as the theoretical entities postulated by the previous theories are still considered existent if one assumes semantic realism they are considered existent because they are referred to in the successor theories <laughs> 